continuation with my Scottsdale, Arizona trip. But first, a word from our sponsor, and then we'll get on with the show. I am going to show you the, I call it channel number five, because you're not supposed to use their names. But this smells just like you know what, only even better, because I've sprayed myself with Chanel and number five and got old lady on me, but this... I had to, I've made it before and I had to do it again because I have it in my tub and I'm just about done with it. So this is the rose loaf. Um, there's the two ends have the roses like that on the end and these are sliced. They're a little over four ounces. They last a long time. These uh, glycerin soaps last a nice long time. Now back on with our show. My usual mornings are I get up at 8 and just has uh, uh, diced fruit, either pineapple, um, grapefruit she'd supreme, or uh, cantaloupe. She got cantaloupes. I mean, we bought two cantaloupes and I think she paid like $2 or something. Food's cheaper in Arizona, or at least right there, than, than it is here. So, oh, and so finally she was home and she made madeleines for breakfast. Oh. I'd never had a Madeline. I thought it was just going to be a cakey thing. But she says they're only good when they're first made. So, oh, they were delicious. And they had a light lemon flavor to them. Um, we took Jessica and drove clear down to Queen Creek to the olive mill and went through and tasted the olive oils. Um, and this was the page that, uh, paper that told us about practicing defoliating, making the olive paste, how they make the olive oil and squeeze it, and how it's not um, mixed in or, you know, third class or whatever. So they were saying, don't buy any that says refined or extra, extra, was it extra, extra virgin? Uh, you're supposed to smell it first, put it in your mouth and taste it, and then swallow. And you're supposed to smell for nuttiness and fruitiness. And then you put it in your mouth, and um, then you can taste you know, all the different flavors that come out. It's like tasting wine. And then swallow it, and you feel for the pepper, pepperiness. So I bought a garlic, a garlic flavored oil, and hubby got a balanced, which is the green and the purple olives. And it just, oh, they have four, you can taste them all, and then you can buy it. Um, oh, we also got a traditional balsamic vinegar. Um, when I looked at it, it wasn't traditional like when I was in Italy, because it wasn't thick. They did have a thick one. But um, they don't make it. They have a partner make their balsamic. Went to Ross, got a... Um, tunic top that was kind of lacy and little sleeves. I'll wear it in my videos. And then I got a t-shirt. It's got kind of a, you know, little thing for the neckline. And I wanted some more tight pants because I only have two pair of tight pants. Tight pants, and if I could wear decent shoes, make you look pretty, no matter how big you are. Um, just says not baggy pants, even if you're big. And she, one time she took me somewhere and there was this big lady dancing and she had tight pants on and it was way cuter than if she had baggy ones on. These pants were $13.99 and they have kind of worn on the knees. They're not real thick stuff, so they're not gonna last forever. And this one I think was $14.99 because I've already worn it and so I have the price tag off. And I think the tunic was $14.99. This was the tunic I was telling you about. And it's, you probably can't see, but it's a lace over. And I'm just going to wear it over tight pants because I don't wear leggings because I think ooh, they look funny. Unless you're really in shape. Oh, and I read two books when I was down there. One was Wild by Cheryl Strayed. It was wonderful. It was just like I was with her hiking. And then the other one, and I read this on the plane coming home, was Never Cry Wolf by Farley Malwatt. And it was about like the movie. Disney made the movie years ago. But it's really good. And it makes you understand wolves and nature better. Jessica and I walked into Tiffany's. I didn't take this with me because I don't travel with the good stuff. I didn't even travel with my good makeup. Um, I just used makeup I've sent her. Except I took my own foundation and mascara and lipstick. But we went into Tiffany's and they asked... Oh, would you like some water? And Jessica is making me drink water the entire time I'm down there. <clears throat> it's so dry. Your nose dries, your throat dries. You need to drink water 
few sips every 15 minutes every half hour and it truly does help um, so I said yes and normally I feel because I knew I wasn't gonna buy anything and she knew it too but she got me a water and I don't know where you buy these little ones this fits in my purse just perfectly and um, I, this isn't Tiffany water this is now Arizona water because I refilled it and keep it kept it in my purse but that was so sweet of her I love going in Tiffany's they make you feel so special and we just we just talked about these I tried on a ring that was um, I want to say a white enamel with the two T's going kind of like that and it was $1,200 and so I'm going oh John it's Valentine's but I knew we spent our money on the trip. And then, what else did I try on? There was one other thing. Oh, it was a tea ring that was just, it came all the way around and it just had one bar and then the diamonds were just right here and right here. And and it was 2200 And I think I tried the gold one on. And oh gosh. I just love the simplicity of Tiffany's designs. They're just, I mean, they've got others like Paloma Picasso's with the leaves. I won't go into it, but the leaves, anyway. Beautiful, beautiful. And I felt really special being able to go in there. Then, what did we do? I was going to tell you about that. Then, um, the last day, last full day we were down there, Jess had to work again. So, um, it was just half a day. So we were going to meet for lunch. But, uh, John and I took the trolley in and walked a bunch of ways. And, uh, you're going through the mall and somebody just grabs you and says here would you like this and so it was a little hand lotiony thing because the husband immediately puts it on and she grabs my hand and goes something something you know in an accent and I can't understand her so okay and so she buffs my nail and I don't know if you can see but boy it came out buffed I was in a hurry and you know I felt kind of sabotaged by being grabbed by her so I didn't want to buy anything but boy that came out nice because I can't polish my nails because they'll peel and who knows what it'll do since it's probably thinned. But um, so when I got home, I found my little buffer and I tried to buff this one and not as good a job as she did. But um, I think she was going to do something for wrinkles or something. But I said, no, I got to go. Um, what else? So hubby took off. He didn't he didn't want to go in with me, but I went into Barney's of New York and I told her I wasn't going to buy anything, but I wanted to smell. And that was fine with her. Um, I said I just couldn't get into my winter perfumes this winter because it was too warm this part of the country. And that I was more interested in a summer scent. So she, um, I said I like citrus and floral and green. And now I wish I'd paid a little more attention to what she pulled out green because they were incredible. I mean way more than wrappings or calyx. One of them kind of reminded me of calyx. But just one of them was just like smelling herbs and uh, not wood, but it was just really strong herbs. It'd probably be a perfect unisex scent. But the two that I fell in love with was Frederick Malley, and she gave me samples. Uh, Frederick Malley. Oh, look, I haven't opened it yet. It slides open. And it's en passant. E-N-P-A-S-S-A-N-T. Look at it. That's a nice sample. And... Um, of course, I can't smell it because I haven't used it yet. But it is a lot of lilac. And um, let's see what it says on it. No, just the ingredients. And Olivia Giacobetti designed it. So this was in the little box. And so that was one that I liked. And then another that just took my breath away. Oh, and this is... $175, I think, for 50 milliliters. And then the Bright Burrito Inc. Inflorescence. I thought I was in a meadow with flowers blooming around me. It is supposed to be rose, jasmine. I can't remember. I don't have to annotate. But it was all florals, and look at this little sample. But this. Byrito Inflorescence. I may have to break down and get it. it it's 145 for 50 milliliters. Um, this still beats the Tom Ford prices, but oh, this one got me for spring. Just wow. So I will wear the samples and see how they wear. It lasted on me.
probably about five, six hours, and the en passant lasted a little longer, and um, Jessica thought it went to Gardenia, but um, it's supposed to go to Jasmine, and I can see where you get those mixed I up. I kept going, but hubby, what do you think? And he goes, buy what you like. And I'm like, all this time I've been trying to get a perfume that we both liked on me. I'm going to get what I want. So, then... I wanted to wander around the store more, but I felt kind of, oh, I already got my free stuff. I should probably leave. Um, the lady did tell me that Barney's in Scottsdale is going to close its doors sometime this year. Darn, so I won't be able to smell any of these in Scottsdale. She thought there was a place in Seattle, and I wrote down the name, because she, but she doesn't know if it still exists, to smell. Because if you can't smell these, who wants to spend $145? Anyhow, so then I left Barney's, 